Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay, and today we are transitioning colors. Um, I cannot wait to get to this part, guys. Like, it's so crazy how you can mix and match colors without it being over the top or dramatic if you want it to, depending on the occasion. So, we talked about shades and we talked about the warms and the neutrals in my previous video. This video, we're actually going to be able to apply the shades and see where it all takes us. Don't forget, guys, I'm a beginner. If you're a beginner, we're all going to learn and grow together. Um, if you're advanced, don't forget that you can always help us out. Leave your comment below, and then we'll be able to all figure out what we did wrong, what we could do better, and just keep it rolling. So, guys, oh my goodness, today, my eyebrows was a struggle. I'm not even going to lie. It was a whole struggle. I... At first, I already knew your girl needed her eyebrows done. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just take a razor to them. And let me tell you, I was scared because y'all. In one of the videos, I already talked about how I was tweezing my eyebrows with the tweezer. But I plucked them too much. Plucked them too much. And then it left a ball spot. I was scared because I thought I was going to shave off the rest of my eyebrow. I have done that before, guys. I I don't know what I was doing that day. I was trying to shave down my eyebrows a little bit so they'd be a little bit smoother. And, yeah, your girl was... And, listen here, half my eyebrow was gone. I took off too much hair. And I'm just like, okay... Let's try this again. I was scared to death because I did not know if I was going to have a whole eyebrow, half an eyebrow when I got done. That's why I try to be careful or I try to get them professionally done or get my mom to like shape them up a little bit because I'd be scared. Honey, listen here. You try walking around with half your eyebrow because you want to sit up here and try to be a professional and shave them off. Try to take hair off and clean them up and you up here to shade up half your eyebrow. Uh-uh. But, yes, um, it wasn't too bad. I finally went ahead and did it. And I got to where I needed to be. But I was struggling. Um, even with the pencil, I had to go back over, do it again. And I think they came out okay this time, if you guys can see it. I think they came out a little bit better. Um, I still have to get a little brush so I can be able to shade them and fade them and all that other stuff. Your girl's going to get there. I'm going to get there. We're going to get there together. We're doing this all together. So, um, once I went ahead and lined out my eyebrow, did a concealer. What I did with the concealer was I brought it all the way down to about here. And I added more concealer because I felt like the concealer I used wasn't enough. So, um, I added just a tad bit more. Not so much where... It looked thick, but just a thin, a little, another thin coating of it. And it actually came out smooth, pretty. Um, I think I like it so far. Um, it's kind of a little oily, but I think it looks okay. So let's get into the actual palette itself. I was back and forth about which palette I wanted to use because I wasn't sure. I didn't know if I wanted to start with Alta first and then go to Take Me Back to Brazil and you do it that way but i was like let me just go to the take me back to brazil palette and let's have fun you know if i didn't like it or if the colors don't mix we could always start over that's what the makeup wipes are for you know it's okay to make mistakes when you're learning in in a beginner stage of makeup you gotta make mistakes to get better so that's what we're doing today um the three colors that I would like to use in this Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Hold on, y'all, because I barely use it. Is, um, I don't know if you guys can see it. This orangish color here. Then the yellow. And then this red here. 
Um, when you're transitioning colors, you want to start off with your lightest color first. That's going to go right in here, your lightest color. That's going to be your transitioning color. Your lightest color goes first. And then the color after that. So that would be for, for the colors that I want to use today is this color. Oops, sorry guys. It would be, look, y'all can tell I don't use this because look, the plastic on it. <laughs> you, you would start off with your lightest, I'm not really light. Okay, you start off with your lightest color first. So for us, it would be that color, the orange color. And then you would go from orange. The next up would be the yellow. And the yellow would go right here within your crease. And then the darkest color goes on last. And it's crazy, which would be your red. That will go on last. It's crazy because when I see people having their eyes shot, I'm just like, how in the world do they mix everything together so that it all blends in so nice? Um, I do have the Tame Back to Brazil brushes available too. So that way I can blend or mix up whenever I need to. Um, most time I hear people say if the colors don't blend right or if they come out uh, muddy, some people say, it's because the colors don't mix. So we're going to, it's like a trial and error type thing. If you're a beginner like me, you're gonna do a trial and error. Um, if it don't mix, we'll start over. You know, it's not, um, it's not, you know, America's next top model where everything gotta be laid and slayed and died. And girl, we gonna get through this together. We gonna be able to figure out how to transition these colors. Cause listen here, we gotta be looking cute. We gotta know what to do when we go out on our next date so we can just, have a full face and be looking flawless so let's go ahead and get started y'all I, I like y'all can tell it's my first time even using it because the tape's still on it paper's still on it and this it was the perfect opportunity to get it so i'm gonna have it setting over here on the side and the first color that we are going to use is think I want to use I also have a crease brush guys so like I'll probably use this one too to go in the crease of my eye but yes I'm gonna use number five which is the large shader brush I thought I took out a different one y'all hmm. I thought I took out a different one but I guess I didn't all right, so we're going to start with this orange. Okay, so we're going to start on this eye. And let's see where it goes, guys. I'm so nervous, guys, but we're going to get through this. We're going to do it. They also say how you hold your brush is a way to control how much or how little to put on.
I'm just using light strokes too, guys. Like, it's nothing heavy on the hand. I'm using light strokes. Okay, that's gonna be my transition color. Um, I don't know, should I use more or should I just stop where I'm at? What do you guys think? For a transition color. What do you guys think? might add just a little bit more i don't want to make it too dark but i want you guys to be able to see the transition of each color if you hear me tapping because i'm tapping off the axis Just using very light strokes, guys. You don't want it to be too heavy. Just dusting off the extra powder. And this will go right in between your brow, your brow bone. All right, how does that look, guys? For my transitioning color. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so the next one is the yellow the yellow is gonna be right at the crease so right at the crease to get it really in there you would need um your crease brush which would be this you want the yellow to go right in the center here These colors are, are very pigmented. And I love that about them. They're vibrant, very vibrant. Okay. So that, it would go right in here within your crease, guys. Right in within your crease. If y'all see me looking away, it's because I'm looking at a mirror, looking at the camera, looking at you guys. So, yeah.
Okay, so for this collar, um, you want to put it within your crease. So you want to make sure you get really get in there. Um, I might add a little bit more because you can see how they're transitioning in the colors now. But I think I'm going to add just a little bit more. And guys, don't be afraid to, um, if you mess up, it's okay. You know, that's a whole part of learning. I might switch it to a different brush, guys. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this brush right here. It's okay if you guys have harsh lines too. We're all still learning. It's all right. All right. So you guys see how like it's the pink and then the yellow. I mean, this one kind of, the pink kind of like faded out the yellow, faded out into the yellow, but it's still there. And then next we're going in with the red. So let's try the red. The red is going to be your most darkest color. That's the color that's going to go right on top. It was supposed to be red. <laughs> What you guys think? Should I have made the yellow more pigmented or made the pink more darker? So that way you can see the transition of the three. Or should I have came in more darker with the yellow? Because this is supposed to be red. But, I mean, it kind of came out cute. But as when you get up closer, you can see the yellow. Or maybe I should have came in darker with the yellow. What do you guys think?
We're going to go for the other eye now and see how that turns out. Don't forget, guys, we're all practicing. We can still keep learning, and eventually we will get better at it <laughs> together. I'm just dusting off my colors here, my brushes. Okay, let's try the other side. All right, so we're gonna start working our way. Don't forget the lightest color is your transitioning color. Okay, so that is the peach. All right, that's the peach. The peach, I think I added more over here to the side, but of course, it's okay. All right, so then we're going to go in with the yellow. I thought I had a bigger brush for the yellow. Okay, yeah. We're going to go in with the yellow. gonna go right in where the crease is at How you guys think it's looking? Um, I think I have a blended brush. I had a blending brush somewhere. Blending crease brush. Oh, here I was like, I know I had a brush somewhere, y'all. It was in here somewhere. I was looking for this brush. Indeed, I was. I was like, I know I had a brush somewhere. If y'all see me switching, it's because I'm. I really want to get that soft tone look into my crease.
And I also try to, um, sorry, y'all, I'm so focused. I also try to blend it out so the harsh lines aren't there. And last but not least, the red. I know the red is definitely going to come and hit hard. I know it is. Especially if I use as much as I did. But, um, I might, well, I might not use that much. It just depends on how it comes off. Um, this is a blending brush, guys. If you see me I'm trying to blend out the colors, so. Okay, so as I can see is the red kind of like overpowered the yellow in the transitioning phase. So, and over here, I noticed that it was more of a harsher line right here, but we can always find ways to correct it as we get more advanced, more um enhance in our blending and figuring out what works but we definitely know that these two colors definitely work together these three colors actually i should say do work together um i added more uh, of the peach color on this side and i can tell that it really stands out over here i noticed that the yellow stood out more because I was more into depth with it. And I think I should have went up a little bit higher on this side. Instead of, and it would have probably all came out a little bit better. But as you can see in both eyes, this one is a little bit more blended than this side. Um, I think I took the bread up a little bit too high. But that's how you learn from your mistakes. You know what not to do next time. And let's see, what should we add? Hmm. Ooh, let's see if we can add some highlights. Let's see. Um, I have highlight in here somewhere. Matter of fact, I might not even need a highlight. What I might do is find a shimmering color that I would have wanted to use. So. Let me find a shimmering color, guys. I'm moving everything out the way. Um, okay, yeah. We can go to a shimmering gold and see how that works. Or we can either do a shimmering gold or we can do um, the Chrome Master. You can try that and see how that works. If I can get it open. Let's 
Okay, yes. This is the hi is this highlighter? Yes, this highlighter. So we're gonna try and see what happens with the highlighter. Um yes, I'm using the crease brush guys, I do. Yeah. <laughs> um I use brushes, but I'll use it for the right thing next time, but let's see how this highlighter looks. Okay. It gave it some shine, gave it some glow. Um, let's see. Let's try this side, guys. See what this side does. Mm, I like it. It gave it some. It gave it some glow. It gave it that mm, that it needed to stand out. That make your eyes pop. Yeah, that's perfect. What do you guys think? Like, that really gave it, I feel like that gave the eyes a confidence, you know? And I think, like, even though this was, like, a beginner transitioning color type phase, I think it gave it that pop that it needed. Like, I think that's real pretty. Especially when you turn heads. Oh man. Like, I think that's really gonna pop. And then, if you want to, y'all can even add a highlighter up here to like have that glow that you need. Y'all, I would definitely put highlighter anywhere. Have my cheekbones shining, bruh. <laughs> I mean, it don't got to be that much highlighter. Y'all, I'm getting, hold on, wait, I'm getting highlighter happy because, hold on, hold on, we got to brush some of that off. Hold on, hold on. Got two highlighter happy and it's, it's ready to go crazy with it. <laughs> but yes. All right, so, um, let's see. Should I wear or put try eyeliner mascara? Okay, so I'm gonna try eyeliner and mascara. Guys, we're not doing a full face today either. Um, I will actually do a full face in upcoming videos once I find my eyebrow pencil. Y'all excuse my hair. I know my hair probably looking a little curly Q and crazy. My eyebrow pencil, and now it's like, oh, here it go. It's like I never had my eyebrow pencil. Uh, like, guys, I actually like the transition of the colors, even though the yellow kind of like faded into the red. Um, it's actually pretty cute. Like, I kind of got highlighted happy, but for it being my actual first time doing highlighter, how do you guys think I did? Tell me in the comments. And then actually, like, it didn't, like, become muddy or it actually, or, or, um, the red kind of, like, maybe overpowered the yellow just a little bit on the right side. But I think, honestly, it came out really good. Y'all, I'm trying to sharpen my pencil. <laughs> trying to sharpen my pencil and talk at the same time. Um... Yes, yeah, so we can do maybe some eyeliner. Let's try some eyeliner. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh I thought that... Uh 
Pentagon in my eye. Hold on, guys. I'm, if I'm looking off, it's because I had to get a closer mirror. Okay, so there goes one eye. So this is how it looks with eyeliner. Guys, I am like so happy with myself because honestly, like I had the confidence to do it, but I was nervous. I was scared. And I was like, oh my goodness, what if the blending doesn't turn out right? But at the end of the day, you guys, it's better to take chances and to always go for it. Always strive for what you want. Even if it's not where you want to be at or even if it's not how you expected it, go for it. Go for it. And just strive for the best. Like, there can be so many mistakes, so many mistakes. And nothing may not seem to turn out right. But at the end of the day, at least you can say, I've tried it. I've done it. I've did it. And you can always do it again. Um, Let's see if we can do some mascara i know my eyebrows looking crazy y'all it's because i hit it and the hair is just going everywhere with your way Also, I'm using Colossal um, Mascara. I love this mascara. Like, it always gives my eyelashes vibrant, um, I said vibrant, uh, voluminous lashes. If you want to wear falsies too, you can. Um, I'm going to be doing falsies later on. If you guys don't know how to apply those. I will show you how to apply them. I'm a beginner at false eyelashes too. When I tell you I'm a beginner for like makeup, like in general eyelashes and all, I am a beginner. The main thing that I always wore, this eyelash is not trying to flare out like I need it to, but um, the main thing that I always wore is just mascara, eyeliner, and I was wearing eyeshadow, but I stopped because it didn't, I don't know. I don't know why I stopped wearing eyeshadow because I was always the one to express myself through my eyeshadow, my eyeliner. I wanted everything to match, to go right. And it honestly did. So yes, that's how it looked, guys. The finished face. Not, well, not finished, but... How it looks with eyeliner, mascara. I'm going to add a little bit more highlighter on this side because I kind of wiped it away when I did my um my eyeliner, so. All right, and that is for transitioning colors, guys. Um, we're guys, we definitely gonna keep practicing and doing many different colors. But I would definitely, definitely come back to those three combinations because that came out amazing. And I guess in the camera, it didn't look how I thought it would, but in the actual mirror. Baby, for a beginner, I thought I did amazing. Amazing. Like, I am happy with myself because, like, I didn't know that I was going to, it was going to turn out like this. I had no clue how it was going to turn out. I was, like, scared, didn't know what transition color to do. I just knew it was from light to another kind of darker color than the darkest one of all. It goes on top. And I was like, so how am I supposed to transition all these colors? And, 
it come out right. But like I said, it's a trial and error thing. It's a trial and error. Um, you win some, you lose some. You try to do it as best as you can to the best of your ability. And then if this was a full face, oh, y'all, we'd be slaying all day. Slaying all day and with no problem. You know, we'll have mistakes here and there. But at the end of the day, we are going to get through it together, beginner and advanced. Also, guys, um, what are some tips that you guys would like to have or some tips that we would should know if you're advanced? Also, I love criticism. Um, please let me know what I did wrong, what I could, um, work on. Um, link, have that in the comments down below. And yeah, guys, like this, I'm like surprised myself. This part is really like messing me up because I know I hit my eye. But, um, yeah, like I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited. I like that I actually did this, guys. Like, when I tell you I'm a beginner, I'm a beginner. Never in a million years did I think, like, hey, like, I like makeup, but I don't know where to start. I didn't know what to do. And I was like, you know what? I'm just start and figure out what I need to do. And it really came out pretty. Like, I'm not going to lie. Y'all, imagine if we did a full face today. This would be bomb. This would be bomb. Like, everything's like starting to come together and it's actually looking good. Like, I'm so impressed with myself. And if you look at yourself in the mirror, in the mirror, like, you is A1, baby. A1. So I feel like this really came out really good. Y'all gonna have to use that's the vacuum cleaner. But, um, Yes, guys. Like, I can't believe we did this together. And it actually came out beautiful. Like, beautiful, beautiful. So, yes, that is it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget, as I said again, um, if you're advanced, if you're a beginner, um, write down what, uh, put in the comments below what you guys would like to see. Um, uh, to also take criticism, what do you guys think I should work on? How, um, if I need to be advanced, uh, if I need to be advanced, if I need to enhance something, fix something, please let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.